What is going on everyone and welcome back to some more Sponge plugin programming. Today we are going to get right back into our event listener and make it so when a player breaks a certain block, they are given the experience that is set within the config for that block and level them up in that associated skill. So to get this working, we're going to want to open up our skill manager class and head on down to our event listener right here. And before we go about actually adding in the code to reward them experience within that event listener, let's create a function that'll be a private void. And what this is going to do for us is it's going to check for level up. This will take in three arguments, a player object, so we can send them a message when they level up, an account object, so we can get and set experience and level values, as well as a skill name. Now, in here, the first couple things we want to do is get the current level as an integer, and this will just equal account, and this is just using that account object we'll be passing in, dot get skill level, and this function, if you remember from last time, takes in a skill name and it'll go and grab from within the accounts configuration file the skill level for that skill name being passed in. And again, with the current amount of experience as an integer is equal to account.getSkill exp. And once again, it just takes in the skill name as an argument. And another one, which will be the an integer, once again, exp2 level. Now I'm going to make this really simple by just doing the current level times 100. And if you do want to go and make this more advanced, by all means, go ahead and customize it to your liking. But just for the sake of simplicity, we're going to leave it like this, just to show exactly what it does and how it works and to make sure that it actually does work. And now with all those variables created, we can put them to use. Let's create ourselves an if statement that will go and check to see if the player's current exp, exp amount, is greater than or equal to the experience needed to level. Now, if that is the case, then we want to increase their level within that scale by one. So we do account dot set skill level. The skill level that we want to set which is just skill name here, and the new level, which will be the current level, plus one. Now we want to make sure that the player knows that they did just level up, so let's utilize this player variable, or player object that we're passing in, to send a message. And we will do text.of, and we're just going to tell them you are now level, and a space after that, then after this, we want to switch up the text color by using text colors dot gold. And then the text that we want to be gold, which will just be the account dot get skill level skill name. Then we can go and switch it back to white in let's transfer this to a new line in name of the skill and a period to end it off so now whenever they level up they will be greeted with this nice little message saying you are now level followed by the new level in gold then it'll transfer that color back to white and display what skill they leveled up in now with this function made, whenever we go about rewarding experience to a player, we can easily just call this check for level up function, pass in the required arguments, and from there determine if the player can level up. And if they can, it'll level them up, as well as send them the message confirming that level up. Now with that done, let's head on back into our block break event listener here. And we want to change this variable, the exp amount variable, to mining. EXP amount. Now the reason we're doing this is because there is a chance that when we go about adding more skills later on, or when you go about adding more skills later on, that there will be another skill that needs to call this block break event. By calling the variable mining EXP amount, we're able to distinguish between the different skills 
and check to see if experience was rewarded in that skill. And if not, check another one and so forth until you either find a skill that is rewarding experience or not. So it's, it's basically just a way to distinguish between the different types of skills that call this event listener. Now we can actually get to the fun stuff here, which is rewarding experience to the player when they break a block. So for this, we want to first create an account object equal to new account. This will take in a plugin, or the main plugin class, an account manager, which will be just account manager, as well as a UUID, which we already have one created, so we can just use that, player UUID. Now we can go ahead and put our mining exp amount variable to use within an if statement. So if mining exp amount is greater than zero, then go ahead and run this code. If this were equal to zero, it would be telling us that the block that was broken is not associated with the skill, so therefore we don't want to reward them experience. Now if this value does end up being greater than zero, then we know that the broken block is actually associated with the mining skill, and therefore should reward experience, which is what's going to happen within this if statement. So let's go ahead and do that. Is account.setSkill exp, the name of the skill, in this case mining, to account.getSkill exp, the name of the skill, which is, once again will be mining, plus the mining exp amount. Then, Every time we add experience, we want to use our handy check for level up function, which takes in three arguments, a player object, an account object, and the name of the skill, which once again, in this case, is mining. And lastly, for our own viewing pleasure, we want to send a message or update the message being sent to the player in order to tell them what block was broken, as well as how much experience they are to be awarded. So let's just edit this a little bit by adding worth, followed by, again, let's do text colors dot gold, just to make it stand out a little bit. Then the amount of experience, which will be mining exp amount, and then end it off with exp. So when they break something, it'll say, you broke the block name worth something like 10 exp. So with all of that done, we can go ahead, build it. And when it's done building, launch up the server, and then we can test this out. Now, once we're in game, if we break one of the blocks that are associated with the mining skill, currently it's just coal and iron ore, we should be given the amount of experience that is set in the skills.conf file for that block. So let's go get some iron and coal. And if I break this, it'll say that you broke that block worth however much experience. And if we look in the background here, you can see it updating. And if I get to the level up threshold, which is at 100 currently, we should see in the chat, as well as in the background here, that this level changes from 1 to 2. And we are also greeted with a nice message saying that we are now level 2 in mining. And we can keep doing this all day long, and the same thing will keep occurring, and that level will continue to go up every 100 experience. With everything working properly, that will conclude this episode, so if this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button, and as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.